So we're in the test place right now, and a new Scorpion Evo has been added, right? That's the name, Scorpion VZ.61, Potato Potato, same thing in my eyes. Um, but a new machine pistol, pretty cool. It's been a little while since we've had another one of these. The last ones were like the Micro Uzi and stuff and the MP1911, which the MP1911 kind of flops, so let's take in comparison. Tech 9 does still double its fire rate, relatively same damage, the Scorpion Evo can 3 hit compared to the Tech 9's 4 hit, but yet the Tech 9 still kills twice as fast. So let's check out the recoil on this. Huh. Okay, so this actually puts you in a tough spot. Do you want the insanely fast time to kill the Tech 9, or do you want the insanely good accuracy of this gun? This is actually kind of, it's kind of a tough spot. It's hard to say because they both serve the same purpose, right? You only take out a secondary, well, usually. You only usually take out a secondary when you need to go ahead and have it, you know, it, it's your last ditch thing. You run out of ammo in your primary or you're super close range, you need a faster firing gun, you take out the secondary. But when you have a secondary that's a machine pistol and it's accurate, it puts you in a much better spot where if you run out of ammo in your primary, you have a lot more options now. Because there's no way I would be getting this accurate of kills with a Tech 9. It just wouldn't happen. I would be using a full mag just to get one of those kills compared to being able to pick up all four... Uh four of these kills thank you i appreciate you dying there buddy uh so this is this is interesting i'm already kind of liking this now you guys know me i'm a huge tech nine or like servu shotgun fan and i don't think that'll change by any means but having this option might make me switch up a little bit i'm definitely open to the idea of changing which secondary i use now huh there's also the arm pistol which we're gonna try out here in a second when we die it's about the same damage as the Scorpion Evo. However, it has about 50 less fire rate, so not as quick firing. However, I'm hoping that the accuracy is kind of the same, where you could just laser... I'm 13 and 1 right now, like, I'm just chilling. And I'm pretty sure my one death is from, uh... Actually, I don't even remember how I died. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. All right, we're just gonna... We're gonna win. Apparently, that's what we're doing. Uh, but I'm all out of ammo, though, so let's go ahead and try out the arm pistol. Don't know what the hell this is? I, I, like a scorpion I'm familiar with. An arm pistol? What? Is it like... Hold up. Is it naturally kind of sideways? Look at that. What is that model? That's so like weird on my eyes. I'm not a huge fan of this. Well, okay. I'm a fan of it. But like, it's weird. Okay, it's also using M16 sounds. I don't like that. <laughs> Can we please update that? Um, but that's... Huh. I feel like this is honestly going to change up the secondary meta to... A decent bit because like i said the tech nine after a certain range you know you're dumping a whole mag hoping for one kill having some accuracy man i feel like this is gonna get pretty interesting so ooh, ooh you're lucky mr geekland i ooh. if i had like three more seconds you'd be dead yeah look at me i dare you buddy so while we're waiting for the next map to start we can go ahead and look at the advanced stats a little bit of these so let's start off with the scorpion it can three hit anywhere up to about 40 studs not super far but then again secondary pistol it's kind of what's to be expected compared to the arm pistol which three hits up to about 45 studs but it has 50 less rate of fire which we do only really kill 0 0.01 seconds slower it's not that noticeable the arm pistol also has a lot higher muzzle velocity about 550 studs per second faster i believe they hold about the same reloads uh the arm pistol is a slight bit faster as well but so to compare these two relatively similar as far as i can tell even the recoil this one has a bit more a lot shakier of a recoil than the scorpion in my opinion um and you have less rate of fire so i guess it's really going to come down to personal preference at that point what exactly do you want from a gun right like do you want the more accuracy but, you know, the more and more I think about it, is there any reason to use this over the Scorpion Evo? Or, not Scorpion Evo. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep saying Scorpion Evo because I'm used to guns being called that. But is there any reason to use this over the Scorpion? You have less rate of fire. You have more recoil. The only real benefit I'm seeing is the slightly, and I mean slightly slower reload time. Like, we're talking literally, it's like 0 0.03 seconds. It's barely even going to be noticeable in the long run. It's it's not too bad, though. I think they're both solid options. It's just this one is definitely going to be outclassed by the Scorpion. If they had switched up their recoils, I believe that it would be a bit harder of a choice, or at least somewhat have a choice, right? I don't see any way that you could say, at least on a surface level. Mind you guys, I'm looking at these. This is my first time ever looking at them. It's very much my live reactions. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, Scorpion, I would have just lasered him. Scorpion is without a doubt the better gun here. 
Hands down, I, I have no problem saying that at this point. So let's look at ammo types, 9.18 conversion. Makes it slightly faster fire rate, gives you 30 bullets, but you lose three shot capabilities. You could also put rat shot on this. I want to try it. I want to try for the meme of this. Let's go try out rat shot. It's got 10 bullets. It's a fully automatic shotgun at this point. I don't know how good it'll actually be, but let's find out for the memes. I think it's, I can't tell, is it decent? I honestly can't tell. I mean, let me find something that's more than like a foot away from me. Cause obviously super up close, it's gonna be good, right? Like that's to be expected. Eh, yeah, no, I don't think rat shot's gonna be the way on this. It might be decent, but then again, 10 bullets. I I feel like this gun, okay. If you had like a tech nine with rat shot, whew, but like for how accurate this gun is and all the benefits it has as a base gun without any ammo conversion, yeah, no, because I would have been able to kill both of them there. Granted, I might have missed like a shot or two, but definitely not going to be worth it. So let's try out. Let's do the 9x18 conversion. So we're getting 10 more bullets. A full stock should give me even more recoil control. A long barrel might help as well. Okay, so let's see the recoil is looking like now. That's that's not bad, man. That's not bad at all. And to have this have 30 bullets, I'm a pretty big fan of these so far. That's... Even with losing your three shot, you know, there really isn't. Okay, so let me talk about why the 9x18 may not be worth it. You do get 900 rate of fire, but the entire purpose of a secondary for me is that last ditch effort or an extremely close range gun. So you take something like the G36, if I'm only switching to something that's a little bit higher rate of fire, is it always worth it for me to drop my gun for that secondary, right? Uh, could I pull off the same or similar results just by saying and holding onto the G36? Obviously not as fast, but it's not as powerful as you would expect. You would take out something like the Tech 9, 1500 rate of fire in that close range. There's no way a G36 beats a Tech 9, right? Like it, there's literally no possible chance. And technically there's no way something like a G36 will beat the Scorpion either, but it's a little bit closer, right? We're talking almost double the rate of fire at this point if you hmm, if you're looking for more of a secondary to be kind of like an overkill kind of like a second gun i think this would be worth your time if you're looking for a secondary in the same way that i look for a secondary where it's just you take that thing out and you let it scream real quick tech nine is still going to be what you want to stay with but but i could definitely see myself switching to the scorpion purely based off the accuracy and the fact that i could pull off more kills with the amount of ammo that i have See, everything for me in Phantom Forces comes down to how many kills can I get with it, right? And if I'm using a Tech 9 and I simply just don't have enough ammo because, you know, you run out of ammo so fast with it, the Scorpion makes a lot more sense to me. So with the accuracy and everything in this gun, I really could see myself switching. Hands down, I 100% I might switch to the Scorpion as my primary secondary gun once this officially comes out into the main game. Look at that, like, that would be so much harder to get the kill for if you're using a Tech 9. That's just how I feel about it, bro. I, I think that's gonna wrap this up here. I think I've said enough about the guns. Overall, I'm just gonna repeat myself. This would be probably my new favorite secondary once it comes to the main game. Really accurate, has a few ammo conversions I have yet to play around with, but really accurate, just overall solid. Having the 9.18 or whatever conversion makes it have 30 bullets instead of 20. Huge benefit. You can even shoot people very accurately at 117 studs, which is what that kill was. I'm a really big fan of that. I think it's beneficial for me overall to get more kills with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure you like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.